There was one time I did find some peace, and it was when I was playing pickleball on the beach with my kids. And you may recall that this past March when pickleball was named as our state's official sport. Well, a lot of people are clamoring to cover the sport now. But Team New Day thought we'd want to go you know, we wait for all those posers to get off the courts. Executive producer Joseph Sutner and I thought it was the right time for us to check out what the sport was all about. We're avoiding the rain out here. Gonna play some pickleball with Joseph and Amity and hopefully show them a thing or two. Yes, it's true that I've never played pickleball before, but you know how you just sometimes know when you're gonna be really successful at something? For me, I think pickleball is that. I have never played pickleball in my life. I don't even know the rules yet, but I did play C squad tennis in high school, so I think I've got this. We'll see. Uh, Amity and I are gonna be partners. You know, she's pretty competitive, as you've probably seen on the show, so I need to really step up my game is what I'm thinking. First of all, I want Amity and Joseph to have a great time and fall in love with pickleball like I have. And number two, I wanna grind them into dust. Why don't you just give us the rules, just so we know generally how it all works. The most important rule is to always let us score points. <laughs> I don't think no. that's, no. no. Okay. <laughs> Basically, it's just like tennis or ping pong, right? Where you're just volleying or hitting the ball over the net, and you get one bounce on your side, and then you have to return it, or you can take it out of the air. As long as you keep hitting that ball over the net, the rally continues and whoever wins the rally wins the point. There's two probably quirky rules that you should be aware of and the first most important one, quirky, is standing here in the kitchen, the no volley zone. The green you, zone? Yeah, this green zone right here. Okay. You cannot come into this zone right here and volley the ball out of the air. That's why it's called the no volley zone, but we like to call it the kitchen, right? Stay out of the kitchen. You can come into the kitchen, but you really have to let the ball bounce before you can hit it over the net. Got it. That, that's the, the biggest quirkiest rule about pickleball that we love. Okay. The, the other kitchen. one is on the serve and the return. It's what we call the two bounce rule. If I serve it to you, you have to let it bounce and then return it to me or Brent. We have to let it bounce a second time before we can come up and hit the ball out of the air or volley it, right? Got it. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. We're ready. That is a great serve. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, no, I should have ah! hit it to Joseph. Ah, sorry, Joseph. <laughs> I'm sorry, you are not a beacon. We scored a point. <laughs> All right, pressure's off for us. Very nice. You didn't hit Joseph with it. That was good. <laughs> no, that's good. You that's got it toward start. that. That's improvement. Okay. Almost. Once Frank and I get up here, two of you oh. want to work your way up and essentially have everybody up here on the kitchen line. Be playing more in this area. To yeah, just get into yeah. a sustained kind of dinking rally right, battle. Right here, yeah. So, um, as with every great champion, there's a bit of a learning curve. And we are um, going to now take what we've learned and switch partners and see how we do with the pros by our side. Think about which way your like belly button is pointing. That's okay. where you're gonna kinda aim. Oh, I don't okay. think any amount of coaching by Brent, Brent is gonna turn. get Joseph prepared for the serve. Here we go. Joseph, are you ready? I, sure. All right. Well, at least I hit the ball. We scored a point, right. Amity. Right. Give me, give me some yeah. high five for that. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready, Frank. All right, here we go, one zero. Go get it, Amity, go get it, go get it. Yeah, nice, good job. Stay here, stay here with me, stay here with me. Yeah, there you go, look at us. Stay oh, there, stay, stay there. there. No, you did. Oh! oh. You tried to sting me and Not I got it. <laughs> Amity, yes. you ready? I am. All right. Perfect. Come on now, come on, come up, come up, come up. Oh. oh thank you. That's a real point. That's a real point. <laughs> that's it, that's good. Me. Nice. Go get that. You. Yeah, that's good. Come on, let's get up. You. Let's get up to this kitchen. Yeah, there you go. Nice job. Nice, you, Joseph. Oh, so close. <laughs> wow. nice should I should wow. I should I give her the bad news? <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Do we have a kitchen fault? <laughs> when you hit that ball out of the air, your toe was on the line, oh. and that's a kitchen fault. You hate to see it. I can't even touch the line. You can't even touch the line. So that went about as I thought it would. But um, I would say I had a lot of fun learning how to play pickleball. But I'm not going to be quitting my day job. As the game went on. We became better and better, and our champions just emerged more and more. So um, don't be surprised if y'all see me on the pickleball court or maybe in the championship circuit. Just saying, it could happen. Yeah, so they came out, they took the court, they had fun, hopefully. 
I love seeing people step on the pickleball court for the first time and then how quickly they take to it and then start laughing and having a great time. And I'm glad we stopped when we did because it was just a matter of time before they started crushing us. Aww. Not true at all, but that yeah. was okay. It was so fun, honestly. Yeah, I'm not sure about the crushing, but <laughs> were those tennis say. courts or pickleball courts? So t pickleball courts are a little bit smaller, and because the sport has become more and more popular, you're starting to see more and more pickleball courts being creative. Yeah. That was actually just a practice area for the tennis courts, and they raised the money uh, Frank and the association raised the money to wow. make it a pickleball court because the lines are just a little bit yeah. smaller. It's just a smaller court. Yeah. And then the, the net for pickleball is just about two inches, I think, shorter mm -hmm. than... Yeah, than I feel it. like I really saw some emerging champions there. I'm not going to lie. I think that I have a lot of raw <laughs> talent that I can't wait to share with yeah. the pickleball world overall. Yeah. Uh, actually, yesterday we were, we were hanging out in my neighborhood yeah. with my friends, and I've got these neighbors, Don and Carlos, and they're just like the best tennis players ever and I was like have you ever played pickleball because I know a thing or two about it now so you, you they go learn. yeah we, we could play I think we've got some rackets I go let me go get my rackets I go inside and come back out they're setting up their own pickleball net in the middle of our street <laughs> we've never played before Carlos I see you mm -hmm. I'm guessing the champion didn't emerge right there it was not emerging yeah. immediately. I feel like there's some power though in those sweatbands that you were there wearing. Was, I think Did the sweatbands like are like you yeah. know the Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman yeah. power yeah. you know I don't know. Overall, I mean, here's the thing I like about pickleball, though. Overall, I'm really into this now yeah. because it is something that I think everybody can do. Yeah. Tennis is really hard. You're going yeah. back, you're hitting right. it, the, that racket's really heavy. These feel but good. But these are really, it's almost like when you're playing on the beach, you mm -hmm. know, and you're like, yeah. oh, I got this. Yeah. I'm just saying. Y'all should try it. I had a blast. Maybe you should just maybe not brag until you find out I mean, a little bit more. Listen, Same. listen. <laughs> I've got to give myself a standard to, to hold myself up to. So here you go. There you go. Um, so anyway, no, it was a lot of fun. It was fun. What, by the way, so I, I told you that I was playing pickleball and, and doing yeah. fireworks things yesterday. What were you doing this weekend? Uh, we had a kind of a fun flag raising at the church, and that was always fun to see the, the kids do the color guard and go up and, and sing the songs. It g gave my heart, you know, a little... Gave you Emotion, the, the feel, all the feels there, and then uh, we saw some fireworks. But we spent most of our time making sure our dog wasn't freaking out. <laughs> I yeah. know yeah. the so poor hard. doggies yeah. and the kitties. My cats yeah. were acting so strange yesterday. Yeah. I felt so bad. But the fireworks were beautiful. It was a good day. It the was sun a good day. came out. Sun so, eventually yeah. came out. It wasn't too hot. Yeah, it was Thank great. goodness, because I really worked up a sweat playing pickleball.